Every summer, thousands of kids travel to a place like no other, Woodward. Here, action sports athletes across eight sports come together for the summer of their dreams to hone their skills, meet new friends, and take their talents to the next level. In the first season of Camp Woodward BMX, we follow two teams of up-and-coming riders as they battle head-to-head, -head, racking up as many points as possible in various challenges around camp. Both sides are ready to lay it all on the line, but only one team can be crowned. The season one, Camp Woodward BMX champions. Yo! My name is Chase Pauza. We are at beautiful Woodward Camp here in Pennsylvania. So on the show this year, we have Team Bestwick and Team Nyquist, two different teams, which is really cool because both of those guys are BMX Freestyle Program Advisors. Respectively, they're coaches for some of the best national teams in the world right now. They just did a stint out in Tokyo for the Olympic Games. So to kind of have them coaching the most upper level elite riders and then now kind of at Woodward coaching the upper level elite riders of the amateurs is really cool. My name is Ryan Nyquist. I am one of the team captains for Camp Woodward BMX Season 1. I am very excited about Season 1 because it is the first time we've done anything like this. I have a stacked team and we are going to crush it. One, two, three, Team, team Nyquist! Nyquist! My team consists of Kier Serlin. She is just like a beam of sunshine, always smiling, always having a good time, and she can rip on a bike. She is awesome. Then we have Jake Rekowitz. I think if I was to go head to head with him in a contest, he'd probably beat me. He is really, really good on a bike, so I think he's gonna be kind of our ace in the hole as far as when things get tough and difficult. He's probably gonna be the guy that stands up and be like, I'll take that one. And then we have Tyler Lamb. Tyler is kind of like, he kind of fits in where everybody doesn't. He can get technical, he can jump big stuff. He's kind of like this really well-rounded rider. So I think he's gonna come in the clutch when it's like, okay, maybe this guy's not feeling that, or maybe it's too weird for this rider. I think he's gonna be able to fit in that mold. I think a lot of the challenges will be really fun. And I'm really excited because I like doing challenges and kind of being competitive. I'm very excited for challenges, but at the same time, I'm like nervous because I know some of them are gonna be really big. E. Soy, tango, quad, or, it's like a Spanish presentation. I'm only in Spanish too. I think there's some gnarly stuff coming, some crazy challenges, some new tricks, definitely, but I'm just looking forward to trying stuff. My teammates are Mia Costa. Mia is so solid and she is so determined and up for the challenge that it's really great to see that in a young girl. We got Kevin Robinson Jr. Man, he has a personality bigger than Cloud9. It's game time, baby. Oh, gosh. We got Marshall Gurky, Major Marshall. Man, he, he's something else. And I think over the next week, I'm gonna see some very special things out of that young man. I'm nervous and excited. I'm nervous for the challenges, but I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to be in the show. I'm nervous because I don't want to let down my team, and I'm nervous because I just don't know what the challenges are. I've been told that there are some gnarly, gnarly challenges, so yes, I am nervous for these challenges. We are here to hopefully get gnarly, um, ride some BMX and have some fun. Uh, I think it'll be a fun surprise to see what challenges are presented to me and my teammates. Really excited about this group of individuals because I know how much potential they've got. I've seen them ride at Woodward Camp and combined, they are a force to be reckoned with. I wouldn't want it any other way. These kids are awesome. I feel I got dealt one heck of a hand here at Woodward Camp. So we've done a good job of keeping the kids in the dark for the most part on kind of like the real nitty gritty details of the show. Now we have kind of this challenge concept that we're going to be introducing to the kids where each day they're going to have a specialized challenge that is given to us by one of our VIPs and then after that they're going to be able to go through that challenge booklet. To be real with you, a lot of the stuff in this challenge book is gnarly. We didn't go out there and put anything in the book that we didn't think the kids could do, but the book is definitely gonna push the kids a little bit outside of their comfort zone.
What's up guys, my name is Chase Pazza, host of Camp Woodward BMX Season 1. I know that you guys have been in the dark on a lot of the details around what we're going to be doing this week, but that ends right now. So Season 1 is going to be all about the challenges. So each morning is going to start with two team challenges, then we're going to get into the nitty gritty, which is the challenge booklets. Oh, oh wow. These Inside of the... Yeah, there are a lot no... Of challenges in here? No joke, bro. Inside of each one of these books is over a hundred different challenges, all of different point values, with the goal being that each one of these teams goes out into the world of Woodward after each one of those team challenges and checks off as many challenges as they can. Team captains, you guys are gonna be responsible for keeping track of all of your Good. campers' points this week. All right. all right, no cheating. Not to anybody in particular, just in general. Just, just in general. I say how it is. Just in general, guys. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're doing 1080. Oh no! That's day one? All right, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow starts day one of the challenges. So, what I want you guys to do right now is take these books and your teams, go around camp, and make a game plan of what you guys are gonna be attacking first thing tomorrow. And go! Go, 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 go. Right. go wait, 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 Marshall. Let's see the ones in here first. Hey, go, just go. All right, let's go through these bad boys and see what we're dealing with. So we got 200 points, gap from the deck of the pool coping bowl and cage, which is behind us, into the bank of the middle bowl. So right there, Jake, I think I'm gonna nominate you for that. You seem pretty comfortable in there, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, do the boulder ball gap and the rock. 100 bonus points for a trick. Do a no-handed Canadian foot jam nose pick over a spine. That's going to be tricky. I <laughs> That's going to be tricky. I do that. Double tire up one side of the red W at P3 and 180 bar spin over to flat. I can do that. OK, great. Peg manual from the launch pad to the lodge. So all the way there, peg manualing all the way to the lodge. Hey, why does it have to be a peg manual? I know, that one's tough. Do you think you could catch a fish from the pond and kiss it? Yes. I've kissed a fish before. All right. Uh, How did it work out? It was scaly. Nice. Scaly. So today, Chase delivered the challenge book, and it's a challenge. It really is a challenge. I personally was incredibly surprised. And I don't know who put this book together, but there's some crazy stuff in this book, OK? That's there's no ifs or buts. There's some really crazy stuff in this. Uh, the 270 from the Quedge into the Vert Wall in Lot 8. So we can go look at that as well. And I, I was told I'm allowed to do some of these, so I can hop in there from time to time if it's something I'm comfortable with. A lot of these things I'm not comfortable with. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, like, I probably won't be ice picking the wall in Lot 8. <laughs> Just sorry to disappoint. I think there's some that won't get achieved. In fact, I, I can guarantee it, because they're very hard, but it's gonna be a challenge in itself to get as many as we can done. We scoped out a lot of places today where all the challenges are set. And I think between us, you know, we have such a great energy already. I think they're going to accomplish amazing things all week long, but it's going to be great to get a good head start tomorrow. I think that's imperative to, to Team Bestwick is tomorrow we make a great first impression and we go out there and we make a big, statement early out the gate. This season is all about the challenges, and I know a lot of them. I can't really say a lot about them, but I'm excited to see the team rise up. I think some of them might seem pretty gnarly, but I think that they're more than capable to do them, and I'm excited to see that growth from our riders. You can tell a lot about a rider when they get really nervous and scared, and they kind of like talk themselves through it, and. and and rise to the occasion, and those moments are really special because you can see people literally growing before your eyes as a rider. And honestly, I, I really like our team. I think that we're gonna get along great. I think we're gonna have awesome teamwork, and I'm here to have a good time. I wanna do well, but more importantly, I wanna make this memorable. I wanna just walk away smiling and just have like nothing but good days. For Woodward Camp to put on a show like this for BMX, it's just a celebration of everything that Woodward has meant to BMX. You know, Woodward Camp has been such an instrumental part of the progression of BMX. You've seen it from Dave Mirror to Ryan Nyquist, even myself. 
we've all spearheaded the charge of doing the most incredible things on BMX bikes and they were all born out of these buildings. So this is a proud moment for me because I've been here for 23 years and to see BMX get its own show for the first time, this is a landmark event and I couldn't be prouder. It's all or nothing at this point. Oh my gosh! There's a storm coming. It's Team Bestwick. The missile. The major. major. Pork chop. Pork sandwich. Pork sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Jamie. I'm just currently, I'm Jamie. just Jamie. 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 Go. Jamie. 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 No, what about. We'll be fine. Whoopie pie. Whoopie pie. Whoopie the A team pie. will be back tomorrow <laughs> from the missile, the major, whoopie pie, <laughs> and pork sandwich. Stay tuned.